Hi, I am Santosh. I will explain you experiment number 9, surface tension of water by the method of capillary ascent from course number PH110 physics laboratory course. In this video, we will see the procedure and collect data for its further calculations. So let's start. To do this experiment, we need a traveling microscope. Two capillary tubes stuck on a glass slide as we will do this experiment twice with different capillary tubes and compare the obtained values of surface tension of water. A clamp to hold this arrangement with a stand and a glass beaker with water. Here is a compound microscope and due to its traveling ability along x, y and z axis we call it traveling microscope. In this experiment we will use two scales, one horizontal that is along x axis and one vertical that is along z axis associated with two different circular scales for their fine movement. This locking screw locks the horizontal scale this way and then the circular cap enables the movement for few centimeters. In unlock condition of this locking screw, microscope will not move with the movement of this circular cap. Similarly, here is the locking screw for vertical scale with similar functions as of horizontal. As one complete rotation of circular cap in both horizontal and vertical conditions moves the microscope on main scale by 1 mm, the pitch of this screw is 1 mm and there are 100 divisions on circular scale thus the list count is 1 by 100 millimeter that is 0 0.01 millimeter. Let's suppose at any instant the zero mark on horizontal scale is between 6.6 .6 centimeter that is 66 millimeter and 6.7 centimeter that is 67 millimeter and the circular scale is showing the value 47 then MSR will be 66 mm and the CSR will be 47 multiplied with 0 0.01 that is list count and it will give us 0 0.47 millimeter. For total reading we will add MSR and CSR and get 66.47 millimeter in particular this situation. We will make the microscope tube horizontal with the help of this swivel screw arrangement. In this experiment with the help of traveling microscope, first we will find the diameters of inner cross sections of capillary tubes. Then the capillary tube will be slightly dipped in water and the water will rise in capillary tubes. We will get the height of water in capillary tube by taking difference of water level in beaker and that in capillary tube. The observation table to get the radius of capillary tubes will seem like this. And that for ascent in capillary tubes will seem like this. To get the inner diameter of capillary tube horizontally, if we place the cross wire at left end with horizontal line aligned with diameter and again the same at right end then the difference between these two positions will give us the required diameter horizontally. And again to get the diameter vertically if we place the cross wire at upper end with vertical line aligned with diameter and the same at bottom then the difference between these two positions will give us the required diameter vertically. 
to get the diameter of inner cross section of capillary tube we clamp it horizontally so that its cross section may face the objective of the microscope we focus the microscope in such a way that it may move horizontally along the diameter of capillary tube now in unlock condition of this locking screw for horizontal scale we move the microscope few millimeter more left from the left end and align zero mark at a significant value of main scale then we align zero of circular scale with the measuring mark of it and then we lock this locking screw to avoid backless error we will take the lhs reading by rotating the circular cap in one direction and move the microscope towards rhs with the same way of rotation of the circular cap we will take three sets of readings for horizontal and three sets of readings for vertical diameters and then the mean value by taking half of that we will get the radius we move the microscope at left end of cross section with the help of movement of circular cap this t1 stands for tube 1 and in a1 a denotes lhs and 1 is for first set the main scale shows the value 63 mm and csr is 52 thus the total reading is 63.52 mm now we move the microscope towards right end this time in b1 b denotes the rhs and 1 is for first set the main scale shows the value 62 mm and csr is 81 thus the total reading is 62.81 mm repeating the procedure of zero alignment of main scale and circular scale this is the position of cross wire at lhs which gives value of a2 on main scale 45 mm and csr 93 thus the total reading is 45.93 mm now we move towards right end for rhs value b2 on main scale is 45 mm and csr is 24 thus the total reading is 45.24 mm repeating the procedure of zero alignment of main scale and circular scale This is the position of cross wire at LHS which gives value of A3 on main scale 63 mm and CSR 29 thus the total reading is 63.29 mm now we are moving towards right end for rhs value b3 on main scale is 62 mm and csr is 58 thus the total reading is 62.58 mm now in unlock condition of locking screw of vertical scale we focus the microscope and move it bit more up from the upper end we adjust the zero mark at 57 mm and the circular scale at 0 now we lock the locking screw and move the microscope with the help of circular cap towards upper end this t1 stands for tube 1 and in c1 c denotes upper end and 1 is for first set the main scale shows the value 59 mm and csr is 72 thus the total reading is 59.72 mm 
now we move the microscope towards bottom this time in d1 d denotes the bottom and 1 is for first set the main scale shows the value 60 mm and csr is 45 thus the total reading is 60.45 mm repeating the procedure of zero alignment of main scale and circular scale this is the position of cross wire at top position which gives upper value c2 on main scale 43 mm and csr 26 thus the total reading is 43.26 mm now for bottom value d2 on main scale is 43 mm and csr is 96 thus the total reading is 43.96 mm repeating the procedure of zero alignment of main scale and circular scale this is the position of cross wire at top position which gives upper value c3 on main scale 51 mm and csr 66 thus the total reading is 51.66 mm now for bottom value d3 on main scale is 52 mm and csr is 37 thus the total reading is 52.37 mm now we will measure the diameter of tube t2 in similar way in horizontal condition for first set t2 a1 the main scale reading is 63 mm and csr is 41 thus the total reading is 63.41 mm for t2 b2 sorry t2 b1 main scale reading is 62 mm and csr is 36 thus the total reading is 62.36 mm for second set t2 a2 the main scale reading is 68 mm and csr is 25 thus the total reading is 68.25 mm for t2 b2 the main scale reading is 67 mm and csr is 22 thus the total reading is 67.22 mm for third set t2 a3 the main scale reading is 65 mm and csr is 12 thus the total reading is 65.12 mm for t2 b3 the main scale reading is 66 mm and csr is 16 thus the total reading is 66.16 mm now in vertical condition for first set t2 c1 the main scale reading is 62 mm and csr is 33 thus the total reading is 62.33 mm for t2 d1 the main scale reading is 63 mm and csr is 38 thus the total reading is 63.38 mm for second set t2 c2 the main scale reading is 72 mm and csr is 66 thus the total reading is 72.66 mm for t2 d2 the main scale reading is 73 mm and csr is 70 thus the total reading is 73.70 mm for third set t2 c3 the main scale reading is 56 mm and csr is 38 thus the total reading is 56.38 mm for t2 d3 the main scale reading is 57 mm and csr is 42 thus the total reading is 57.42 mm now we clamp the capillary tubes vertically and slightly dip its one end in water of beaker 
now we can see the water has been raised in the capillary tubes we focus the microscope at meniscus of water level in beaker in general while taking the meniscus reading of water we take the readings at lower part of it as it is concave the compound microscope provides inverted image thus we take the upper parts reading here we calibrate the vertical scale and move it bit more down the water level now we are moving it up with the help of circular cap and reached the meniscus level in a1 a denotes water level in beaker and 1 is for first set the main scale value shows 82 mm and csr is 42 thus the total reading is 82.42 mm for second set beaker's water level value a2 on main scale is 82 mm and csr is 43 thus the total reading is 82.43 mm for third set beaker's water level value a3 on main scale is 82 mm and csr is 42 thus the total reading is 82.42 mm we will take mean of these a1 a2 and a3 and use this value for both the tubes now we move the microscope towards water level in capillary tubes we focus the microscope at meniscus of water level in capillary tubes first we will do for the capillary tube t1 this time in b1 b denotes the water level in capillary tube and 1 is for first set the main scale shows the value 124 mm and csr is 78 thus the total reading is 124.78 mm for second set capillary tubes water level value b2 on main scale is 124 mm and csr is 77 thus the total reading is 124.77 mm for third set capillary tubes water level value b3 on main scale is 124 mm and csr is 78 thus the total reading is 124.78 mm similarly for tube t2 for first set capillary tubes water level value t2 b1 on main scale is 111 mm and csr is 5 thus the total reading is 111.05 mm for second set capillary tubes water level value t2 b2 on main scale is 110 mm and csr is 98 thus the total reading is 110.98 mm for third set capillary tubes water level value t2 b3 on main scale is 111 mm and csr is 3 thus the total reading is 111.03 mm hence with the help of our laboratory manual and collected data from this video one can calculate surface tension of water thank you